Hi there. Good morning. Okay, so my name is Mrs. Beverly Suarez, and I am your teacher for the Grade 10 Computer System Servicing. Nice to meet you. Okay, so let's start with the very first lesson for CSS, which is the introduction, specifically the relevance of the course for computer for computer system servicing okay so this is the very first topic that we will discuss all right so the objective for the day is at the end of this lesson you should be able to discuss with me the relevance of the course which is css or computer system servicing to your future career or future business okay so i have some questions for you why did you choose css okay so what is css we all know that it's an acronym which stands for computer system servicing and during last year what did you learn from css okay so do you think after finishing the css 10 what what can you do are you going to continue it by enrolling into uh, an, an ict track in senior high school or you're planning to take computer engineering or computer science or it in college okay so for that I will show you a video up next about CSS. So those are the things that you can do after finishing CSS and after you have passed the NC2 CSS under TESDA. Okay, so let's proceed. I have here two pictures which came from two different years. Please compare the two pictures, analyze it, and tell me what do you think about it. So the first one on top, is from 1984 right so there we can see that it seems like there's a family gathering uh -huh, and they are eating maybe dinner or lunch and they are a big family <laughs> dining or eating together okay now let's go to the picture at the bottom which is during the year 2014 okay so obviously this one is a small family with a pet okay they are in the living room 
and oh, they are together but what are they doing uh-huh you guess it right they're holding their devices smartphones tablets maybe the kids are playing the parents are checking some work even the dog <laughs> the dog has it his own device <laughs> okay now let's move on to traditional marketing versus digital marketing what can you tell about the differences between the traditional marketing and digital marketing so under traditional marketing the traditional marketing styles like we have here some newspaper tv and the next picture i think is a radio for us for the digital marketing we have you can click anything from your device check your emails or chat boxes or even websites right okay so in our world where almost every activity is assisted by technology it's no wonder that most business ventures are somewhat related to information technology one of the businesses that was able to make its mark is computer system servicing this is an industry whose main line of business is to sell computer hardware systems and computer components as well also servicing in the installation of computer systems and networks okay now for the basic concepts about css businesses explain to me what does this word computer these words computer system servicing mean to you like basically it's more on about computer but it is specifically designed to enlighten the readers on the importance of understanding the basic concepts of establishing a computer system servicing business and why do you think so so in order to achieve success in it being able to understand these concepts will help in guiding an individual if he intends in engaging into a business venture that is concerned with computer system servicing in the future who knows maybe one of you would like to have your very own business which is computer shop well this picture is a very big one and can you please analyze it to me we have here some form of a signal right that is right it's a wi-fi okay so we are going to talk about internet this one is a home it looks like a very normal small home with some wi-fi <laughs> there but it's considered as a smart home okay a smart home you're right where you have a lot of smart devices okay so we have here a lot of devices like we also have a fridge oh yes you're right there there are now smart fridge <laughs> okay the ones which have like a tablet thing in front and you can actually i think it's from samsung you can actually scroll the components inside your fridge like you can just get your phone it's connected to your wi-fi and then you'll see oh i'm in the i'm in the supermarket and i need to know what are the things that i need to buy let me check my fridge <laughs> something like that we also have cctvs which are very common nowadays you can even access your cameras at your phone to see whether your home is safe of course we will have the laptops the phones all okay. right even oh air conditioning units yes you can actually control your ac unit through your phone like for example if you forgot to turn it off and you left home already 
you can check it and you can turn it off that's smart right smart lights are also now available here in the philippines okay and other things now what do these smart devices need in common like what do they need for them to function well okay so they need the internet of course they won't be as smart as they should be if they don't have internet access now in this picture this represents iot which stands for internet of things well for you to further understand iot or internet of things because it seems very hazy at the moment there are a lot of things going on in the picture yes because it's basically components like everything that you know and they have internet access okay so here's a video about iot or internet of things so that's pretty technical but there's one thing that there's one smart thing that I have which is the smart TV okay, where you can watch YouTube Netflix or anything because it's smart it must be connected to your Wi-Fi wirelessly or wired I prefer wired because the connection is way better th in wired than the wireless okay now let's move on to the basic concepts of css business here is the first of the important topics that we will discuss in css the basic concepts of css business which will tackle all of the necessary information and facts about computer system servicing businesses this will discuss the different prospects that are available for a CSS business. The opportunities that you might see as an opportunity for you. Okay, so IoT or the Internet of Things uses 
by industry. Look on how the Internet of Things is used by different industries. It can be used for home, yes, industrial like factories, telecommunications, automotive like wheel alignment, monitoring traffic flow, even in agriculture like for the crops management, analysis of the soil, military for the threat monitoring. Medical fitness devices, environmental like fire detection, weather satellites, retail like for the inventories, marketing, and CCTVs. Internet of Things is used everywhere and you as millennials must be aware how it works and how it will benefit you. Next is being able to assess one's competencies, like the strengths and weaknesses, which will help you determine whether an aspiring entrepreneur in CSS business will be able to manage it correctly. This refers to the CSS knowledge and skills of those people who are already engaged into a similar line of business that an aspiring individual would want to venture like for example you wanted to have a computer shop of course you must know some of the real practitioners the real businessman who owns that kind of business and they will help you of course they can be your mentor other businesses can be computer repairs computer parts shops computer shops, right, or network administrators. Well, compare the practitioner's CSS competencies. If you found someone who has the same business that you would like to have, you will need to compare his skills with yours. So this topic discusses the careful comparison of the CSS competencies of an individual that he possesses with those of an actual practitioners in the same line of business. For you to see, oh, I need to be as hard hardworking as he is, or I needed that kind of determination. Aligning your CSS competencies. Now this is intended to streamline whatever CSS competencies an individual possesses to fully utilize them in establishing a computer system servicing business. Like you already have the knowledge, but you still need to practice your skills. So you need to focus more now on practicing your skills. Like do more hands-on exercises and maybe you can work part-time for that businessman. You can be his assistant so that you will know how the things are going in an actual business. Okay. So that ends our topic. The mentioned topics explained how relevant this course in establishing of a computer system servicing business. And an individual who is determined to come up with the CSS business that will surely be successful must be able to grasp the ideologies and principles that will be discussed in CSS. Okay, so that ends for today. Thank you very much and I'll see you again on our next class. Bye!